that was so close. Hey guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be out here at the mountain with the Axial Rift. It is kind of windy, so I'm gonna try to protect the camera best I can from the wind. It is really windy all of a sudden. It wasn't windy this earlier. It rained earlier today, and so uh, this place is always really cool. After it rains, you can see there's lots of water everywhere, and there's puddles and stuff everywhere. I'm trying to block the, the wind from the camera. <laughs> so maybe this wasn't the best day to do this. I don't know, I like to come out here after it rains. The water is coming down the mountain pretty cool. And it looks really nice. There's uh, puddles and stuff everywhere. Lots of green plants and stuff and everywhere like that. And I'm gonna stay away from all the plants and stuff. Don't wanna drive on that. Just gonna stick to the rocks. But yeah, we've got the axial rift out here. If you haven't seen this thing, it's a rock bouncer. So I figure, you know, why not just take it out here and play on the rocks with it? But let's get the power on. Let's get this thing running up these rocks. This is gonna be a lot of fun, I'm sure of it. Now you're gonna ask, we're running the Spectrum 4S 5000 milliamp 100C LiPo. Man, that wind. It feels fantastic though. Man, it feels so good out here. I hope you guys are outside having fun. I hope you guys are watching this at nighttime. We're in bad weather, and I hope you're spending all your nice weather outdoors having fun with RC cars. Because I know I try to be as much as I can. Oh no, why is it not working? Oh, because I didn't turn the power on. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Trying to avoid all the puddles. There's plant life inside there, so. <laughs> so you get a cool jump off of here. Stuck it. See if we can go up this little. <laughs> that was cool. Ooh, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> this little spot right here, we always try to get up with our crawlers, and I don't know if you can tell. It's it's pretty steep. It's pretty crazy. So I don't know if we'll be able to make it up it, but we're gonna try. So I know it can't crawl up it. Oh, it did it. Never mind. That made short work of that man that was super easy let's do it again i don't think you can tell how steep that angle is look at that <laughs> all right that's pretty much straight up let's see if we can get it up it i bet you put a little throttle behind it will oh if i hit it straight there it goes. Here, we're just gonna gun it up and see what happens. <laughs> Not the right thing. Ah, <laughs> wow, this thing is wild when it gets in the air. This thing spins so much. I can't even control it, really. Ah, the torque twist is too much for me to really control it. That way I need to learn how to control it in the air. You see all this rock, this mountain. I don't know if you can tell how big it is. It's pretty good, it's a pretty good size. Oh, this rock is so slippery. <laughs> Let's see. That's really unfortunate. You know what? I have taken my Losi Rock Ray. I've driven around here and I have, I don't have it on video, 
but this thing cartwheeled from almost the top i mean i don't know how far up you can tell almost from the top down to the bottom i was driving it down really fast and the rear end came up and it started losing control started doing cartwheels and it just cartwheeled all the way down i mean it was I man it was probably cartwheeling them for for 20 seconds or more and it went all the way out to the bottom didn't break anything and, and this thing i don't even think i was that hard on it and i just broke it but what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to see if i can fix it i got some traxxas rod ends in my car i'm going to see if i can fix it so here's a rod end that broke and it broke on this side over here and what i think happened notice this is a traxxas rod end see how it's straight see how these are here straight these have a bend to them and what i think happens is whenever there's force that's put on there it causes it to buckle because there's a bend in it already and so you have like an arc here and so so just pushing on this right here is going to make it buckle i think that's what caused it to break so i'm gonna put some straight rod ends on there and see if that works so i bumped into a couple of guys they show me this lake and over there is where i'm about to go and i had no idea that uh you could walk around this lake like this i mean now i knew the lake was down here but i've never been down here before and i was actually going to walk down here today and uh but yeah there's, there's a trail goes all the way around this lake we're following this trail around this goes around the lake and uh we're actually running on a 3s right this second i put my uh 4s battery up to save it look what i found this is a spot i've never been before i've never been over in this area let's see if we can come down it <laughs> let's see if we can go back up it let's see. oh no all right <laughs> there are some big square holes there's a line of them i i don't know maybe there's a structure here at one point i think this used to be a rock quarry i'm not entirely sure that's kind of weird if you guys know what these big square things are for then uh let me know down in the comment section because i'm kind of curious I've got to look ridiculous. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, for a second there, I thought I was about to lose this thing in the in the water. Thought I was about to go off in the lake. Luckily, it didn't. This is so steep. It is so windy. There's the lake. I'm not sure where I am on the mountain. I've never been over here before. Not from this angle, at least. There is no way it's gonna make it up this. That's not gonna stop me from trying. That makes me think a low, um, a low center of gravity crawler might make it. Nope. Oh, that was so close. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I totally meant to do that. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> oh, so close. I'm getting the hang of it. Let's see. <laughs> well, I mean, made it up there. <laughs> that was really cool. Ooh, if I keep this up, I'm probably gonna break it. Here, we're running around these rocks. There you go. Oh, I know where I am now. Let's see if I can make it down this little shelf over here. Ah, easy. This is so cool. It's like sheets of rock. Look at that. This is just caving in and stuff. That's really, really neat. Whoa. We're going to see if they can make it up this. I know my crawlers can. My crawlers make it up easy. Oh, look at that. Easily done. Oh. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Now, this right here is like the ultimate test for crawlers. It's like a, I think it's like a 55 degree angle. I don't know how steep it looks. My Bronco can make it up it. So. Nope. <laughs> uh, try again. It's not a crawler, so the, the rear differential is open. It may not let it get up there. Let's see. There you go. All right, guys. I don't know. I know it looks brighter on camera. I, I looked on there, and I can see that it looks brighter. It's starting to get dark, or it'll be dark soon. The clouds are overhead, and it's starting to get cold, too. So I'm going to head on back. Uh, this thing held up pretty well. Once I changed those links out, I think those, those bent links are just wrong for the application and that just caused them to break but uh overall i really like how this thing performed out here today i didn't break anything other than those links you know that's an easy fix i fixed those two links right there and that's it so nothing else in the suspension or anything else broke surprisingly i'm surprised it was so tough today it really held up well the drive shafts and links and everything else did really well i didn't break any axles or or anything like that so the cage is a little scuffed up but that's okay man I really like this thing. I've had a lot of fun with it today. I've had a blast with it. I'm surprised it made up with this, this uh, 55 degree slope. It was pretty cool that it made it up that. Had a lot of fun on the trail. This thing is a lot of fun. If you have a place like this that you can drive it, I recommend you get one. Uh, what do you think? Is this, this something you're going to get? You know, there's no ready to run rock bouncer other than this one. This is the only one I know of. And it's, uh, it's fantastic. I know some people are going to change out the differentials and lock the differentials and, and make it kind of a crawler. I don't know that it needs it. Uh, you know, obviously it would help it crawl. But I think uh, overall, I'm really impressed with it. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, uh, I guess that's it for today, guys. <laughs> I need to start heading back. I'm so far from the car. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. I just said that. I don't know why I said it again. You know, double subscribe. Don't click the button twice. They'll unsubscribe you. So only, only click the button once. Uh, yeah, I'll leave my Patreon down in the description below. If you want to support the channel, you can do it that way. But that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.